So here we have the Volkswagen Polo on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off firstly by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot space first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see that we've got plenty of boot space, a 60-40 split folding rear seat so that you can increase this space even further. And this tray section will lift to reveal a full size spare wheel. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car. And then as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through some controls. Now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and cooling temperature gauge. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the center, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 41,453. Uh, above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. So you can change that information using buttons on the steering wheel. On the driving data menu at the moment, there are other menus. So you can see me cycling through those now back around to the beginning again. And the buttons that I was doing or using to do that are here and also here. We have voice activation for the phone, which you can only use, of course, once you pair the phone up. And then stereo controls. We have cruise control on this stalk. And then over here is where, amongst other things, you can pair up your phone. Just hit mo find mobile phone and then follow the instructions on the screen from there. When it comes to music, we have uh, DAB, FM and AM radio. If you'll listen to your own music, CD player, SD memory card input, two USB inputs, and once you paired your phone, uh, Bluetooth audio. Uh, on top of all of that, depending on the phone you have, we have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay available as well. Working our way down, we've got the air conditioning. You can adjust the temperature, fan speed, and direction the air is being distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, that's your air conditioning off. And back out, back on again, of course. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set over here. We have two USB inputs and some storage. The gear lever for the five-speed manual gearbox. This button turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows and we have a 12 volt charging socket as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.